Hello, and thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair. The avatar in front of you is named Lisa. If this is the first time visiting the channel, this is probably the only YouTube channel that is for the older adults who are using Second Life, and it started about two months ago. And so I hope you'll watch all of the videos and comment if there's something interesting to comment on that I presented in the video. And you're also welcome to give ideas for future topics. The topic today is on a documentary I watched called Would Strangers Click? And I think that you will find this documentary to be very interesting. If you haven't seen it already, it's older, and it came out probably about four or five years ago. And there are five segments in this documentary about how people are finding relationships online and what is happening to them as they embark on that journey. So the first segment um, was about a woman named Kim who was divorced and she was in the tri-state area and so she put a profile online and at a dating site and she met this guy from Prague and his name was Dennis and they started communicating by email and she noticed his broken English in his email but she just assumed that English was not his first language and turned out that he didn't know English at all and she met him in person and it turned out he had just been using a translator the whole time um, that he was communicating with her but she fell in love through their emails so the translator must have worked somehow and I won't tell you what happened when she got to Prague um, but uh, watch the video if you're interested in what happened with Kim and Dennis my question to you is have you met somebody online at a dating site or even in Second Line and they were from another country spoke a different language did you feel that you fell in love just from um, the, the written communication that you had um, so let's go to the second segment, which was a guy named Ryan. He's a gay guy, and he stumbled upon a gay chat room online. And so he starts talking to guys online, um, and he um, didn't know that there was this whole gay community out there in the chat rooms. And so he meets one guy who was super interested in him, and it turned out to be the mayor of his own city who was married and who was visiting gay chat rooms. And so it turned into a full-blown public scandal. And so, um, and he also found out that the mayor wasn't just um, coming on to him, but was saying the same lines and things like that with other um, younger men in the gay chat rooms. And so that's kind of how his um, foray into uh, chat room dating turned out. The third segment was a Jewish guy, and his name was Dave, and he said that being five feet tall um, made it hard for him to meet women, and that he felt that they weren't as interested in him because he was five feet tall. And so my question to you is, do you think that physical appearance or your physical appearance or other people's um, perception of their physical appearance impacts their confidence level when they are dating and do you think that there's any truth to that are people stuck on looks um, and at first meeting I think that a lot of men uh, may be concerned about meeting somebody who seems great online and then maybe that person has an extreme weight problem or who is just not attractive and that they won't have any physical um, attraction to. I think that is a concern. And I think for women, I think the concern is that the guy may seem great online and then be a psycho crazy person or maybe have some type of addiction or maybe some kind of instability emotionally or um, mentally. And I think women, that doesn't mean that women aren't concerned about physical appearance because I think uh, women uh, also, like men, want to be physically attracted to someone as well. Um, but I think that particularly maybe with older women, the concern would be um, a man um, who his health may not be very good um, and maybe that wasn't disclosed early on. I think um, older women do get concerned and maybe older men do too about the health of, of a person that they may find appealing and want to pursue a long-term relationship with. Um, I think for women, you know, the appearance thing, the weight of a man, a lot of women find that unattractive if a man isn't working out. Um, but, 
you know, I don't think women are probably as focused on that uh, because, I mean, let's face it, how many women are hitting the gym three times a week? <laughs> let's go to segment four. Segment four was a woman named Beth, and she's 30, and she's wondering if she's ever going to get married. And so she meets a guy on a dating site, and he is older, and his name is Andy. And she said that what she found um, appealing about Andy was that a lot of guys were trying to make themselves seem so fabulous and amazing on these dating profiles and she said Andy didn't he just said his life was miserable and he's trying to work it out and she thought that that was just refreshing that he was not trying to you know create a persona and so they hit it off and I won't tell you what happened with Beth and Andy but you can watch the documentary and the last segment was on the Second Life couple. And that was an interesting one. They did not portray Second Life negatively. Um, they just showed an older guy in his 50s um, who had his own company, who had to close his own company, who was living with his mother in this remote area of Sweden, and that he had a dream of being an artist. And he wanted to um, be a singer. And so that was his um dream and so he started giving concerts in Second Life with his guitar he became really popular he was offered a record deal in the United States he had met a lady in Second Life and they were dating in Second Life and had never met in person and so when he came to the United States to pursue this record deal he ended up meeting her in person and she ended up getting pregnant they had a, a little baby and um, they got married in Second Life, and at the end of the documentary, they had not gotten married in real life, um, but they were still together. So let me know what you think about the, that and the documentary in general. I'll put the link, as I said, in the description, and keep watching these videos and commenting and giving ideas for future topics.